Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello. We are students of Mara Japan Industrial Institute on subject of Mathematics 2. Presenting Chapter 5 The Application of Integration Have you ever wondered how to find the area under these curves? Or even how to find the value of this irregular shape of vast? Well, now you can. By using integration, you can find all of this. However, in this video, we will only share with you two applications, which are area and volume. To find area under curve, there are three types. Firstly, area between curve and x axis is as shown in the figure below. This is the formula. Next, area between curve and y axis. Y axis is like this. Here is its formula. Lastly, area between two functions. The formula is the difference between the two. Now, take some time to review the three formula of area under the curve. Move on to volume. We can find the volume of the bus by using volume of revolution. First, you need to determine the area under the curve just like previous and revolve it 360 degrees about the x axis. Its concept is similar to find the formula of a cylinder by r square h. Instead of r square, it is replaced by the y square and the h is replaced with a2b. Next, this is the volume of revolution when area under the curve revolves 360 degree about at the y axis. And this is its formula. Now, take some time to review all of the formula given. Now, to measure your understanding, give this problem a try and you might want to pause the video. Whenever you are ready, you may keep watching the video to find out the solutions. Now, Let's check the answer. For the first problem, area under the curve between x axis are as follows. Next, area between two function and y axis. First, you need to find intersection between the two function by using substitution method. And then, you need to find the intersection between the curve and the y axis as follows. After you find all of the three intersection, you can divide the area into area of triangle which we will name is at SA1 and A2 as area under the curve. And the total sum of these two area is the answer. Move on to the third question. volume generated about the x axis. To solve this question, we can say it as follows. Last but not least, volume about the y axis. This is how you solve the question.
Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video beneficial, please share to others and click the like button. Without our beloved sensei, we cannot produce this amazing video. Thank, Thank you. you.